Today we're going to do a comparison between the X5 and the X3 for the DJI Osmo. This is Gil at IPGRentals.com. Let's check it out. All right, everybody, so let's go get started. Right away, you're going to see that the Zenmuse X5 is a much tighter frame. That's at a 30 millimeter compared to the X3, which is at a 20 millimeter. So now that you've seen the difference in the frames when the video was still, let's go ahead and get the video to play. Once it starts playing, you'll notice that even though the frames are different, the videographer that was filming this was standing in the exact same distance in each video. The Zenmuse X5 also has an aperture range of 1.7 to f16, which compared to the Zenmuse X3, which has a non-controllable aperture, which is stuck at f2.8. The main difference between the two cameras themselves is the sensor. The Zenmuse X5 comes with a 4 3rd sensor compared to a 1 over 2.3 sensor for the X3. You'll notice the difference right off the bat just by looking at the images themselves. If you look at the picture of the X3, you're going to notice that the lines and the trees in the background are kind of muddled together and not as clear compared to the X5, which is on top. You'll be able to see the leaves and the branches and the lines of the post as he walks by them. It's a much more detailed image and that's because of the 4 3rd sensor compared to the 1 over 2.3. So that's the difference between the X3 and the X5. If the DJI Osmo. Here at IPG, we want to make sure that you have the right gear for your job. So next week, we're going to drop another video just for you. So please comment, like, and subscribe. IPG Rentals, our gear, your vision.